Hey guys, it's your girl Trees. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to pluck your wigs. In my last video, I showed you guys how to bleach and tone your knots the right way. I went into full detail, so if you haven't seen that video yet, please make sure you go check out that video before you watch this video, but let's get into it. You always want to pluck your hair on the canvas that you can see what you're doing. I prefer to pluck my hair on the wig cap because I wear wig caps when I install my wigs. You can also use a white towel as well. First thing first, you always wanna make sure you pick a good pair of tweezers. You do not wanna use a really bad tweezer because it's not gonna plug very well. So there's four types of tweezers that you guys will see most commonly. You will see a pointy tweezer. You will see an angled tweezer. You will see an angle tweezer with a jagged and also you will see a straight tweezer as well. Using the other tweezers if you're a beginner can go wrong because you could pick up a lot of hair. I like the pointy tweezer because it picks up individual hairs at a time so you're not pulling out chunks of hair at a time especially if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing. If you don't have a pointy tweezer, try using an angle tweezer, but turning it upside down and have the point facing towards the hair that you're pulling. This will act as if you had a pointy tweezer. So I already did one side off camera. I parted the hair down the middle to make sure that I do not over pluck the middle part of my hair. And now we're gonna get to plucking. The other side, as you guys can see, is a big difference. It's already kind of pre-plucked, but we're gonna pluck it some more. I like to pluck on wet hair. It is easier to pull the knots out when the hair is wet. You can pluck with dry hair, but it's much easier when the hair is wet. We're going to part the front part of the hair first. We don't want to pluck that part yet. And then we're going to start plucking behind the hair. The best method that I could say worked for me when plucking hair is to create like wide tooth comb spaces when I'm plucking. So as you can see right here, I'm plucking, I'm plucking, and then I'm skipping, and then I'm plucking, I'm plucking, and then I'm skipping. You want the hairline to kind of resemble like a wide tooth comb. That's the best way I could describe it. You guys gonna see what I'm talking about as I'm plucking. Now we're going to part the hair again, re-wet it, and begin plucking in a wide tooth comb pattern. You do not want to stay in one spot. Make sure that you guys are keep moving your tweezers around. If you stay in one spot, you will get a ball spot. So remember, you're creating like a wide tooth comb effect. So you pluck, pluck, move, pluck, pluck, move. We're going to part the hair once again and repeat the same process. Plucking three rows back gives like the best, I don't know, like realistic hairline effect. So the most I would say to pluck back is to do three rows. Don't go past three rows because you don't want your hairline to look bald.
Also guys, make sure that you take your time. If you pluck too hard, you will put a hole in your lace and that's not a good thing. <laughs> so make sure you take your time. Do not pluck too rough. Don't pluck too hard. Make sure that you're moving your tweezers around. Do not stay in one spot. Now we're gonna comb all the hair back Rewet the hair and proceed to do the same wide tooth comb patterns in the front of the hair. Sometimes I like to go back and like re-plug some gaps into like chunks of hair that looks out of place so it can look more natural. As you can see here, I'm like looking through like chunks of hair, seeing if I could go in between those chunks and create a smaller gap. This gives a more realistic look and it's giving definitely hairline. All right guys, we are all done. I hope this video is very helpful to you guys. Don't forget to like this video if you like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.